Welcome to the video on Understanding Amazon's Multiple Selling Accounts Policies. This video covers the following topics. 1. Overview of Multiple Selling Accounts Policies 2. When does Amazon take action? The content in this video applies to all Amazon stores. Let us first discuss the Multiple Selling Account Policies. Sellers are considered to have multiple or related accounts when they own, operate, are involved with or have access to more than one Amazon selling account. Sellers who have a legitimate business need to operate multiple selling accounts can do so. Sellers are not currently required to request approval from Amazon to open a subsequent selling account. If you do operate multiple accounts, either in the same or different regions, please ensure that you maintain all accounts in good standing. If any one of your accounts is deactivated for violating policy, Amazon may deactivate the other accounts you own. While Amazon recommends that all sellers transact through one account whenever possible, here are some examples of legitimate business needs. 1. A seller who owns multiple brands with different storefront names may maintain a separate selling account for each brand for ease of store brand maintenance. For example, a seller may sell brand X on one account and then wants to sell brand Y. If the seller needs to, they can open a new account to do so. 2. A seller who is selling products manufactured by two distinct and separate companies. For example, a seller is selling products from company X and now they want to start selling products from company Y. They can open a new account to do so. 3. An Amazon program requires you to maintain separate accounts such as the Amazon Renewed program. Let us now understand, when does Amazon take action? All selling accounts that a seller owns must comply with the applicable selling policies and seller code of conduct. Violating Amazon selling policies and seller code of conduct or any other Amazon policies may result in actions against your accounts such as cancellation of listings, suspension or forfeiture of payments and account deactivation. To understand what each of the points under the code of conduct mean, visit the respective page related to your regional Amazon store. If one of your selling accounts violates an Amazon policy and is deactivated, all accounts that you own or operate may also be deactivated. You will receive a notification about your related accounts violation. Use case number 1. You own two accounts for selling on Amazon, Seller Storefront 1 and Seller Storefront 2. Seller Storefront 1 receives a warning notice for manipulating your sales rank. There will be no immediate impact at this point to your Seller Storefront 2 account. But you should heed the warning on your Seller Storefront 1 account in order to avoid future impact to both Seller Storefront 1 and Seller Storefront 2 accounts. Use case number 2. Seller Storefront 1 receives an account deactivation notice for manipulating your sales rank. Your Seller Storefront 2 account will be deactivated because it is related to Seller Storefront 1. Seller Storefront 1 will need to be reactivated before your Seller Storefront 2 account can be reactivated as well. The other topics related to Amazon's multiple selling accounts policies you should be aware of, including how to respond to a violation notice and best practices to remain compliant. Continue your learning with the video that discusses about addressing Amazon's multiple accounts policy violations. Thank you and happy selling on Amazon.